Hello everyone, I am Karthik, studying in first sem EC, Government SKSJTI, Bangalore. Today we are going to discuss the key concepts of Indian Constitution. Coming to the introduction, the Constitution of India is a supreme law that lays down the framework and democrates powers, procedures, duty, structure, code and the functioning of various government institutions. The Constitution of India is the longest written constitution in the world. It was adopted on 26 November 1949 and came into effect on 26 January 1950. Also celebrated as Republic Day. The preamble is the introduction of the Indian Constitution and gives us an idea about the main objectives of the Indian Constitution. Let us understand and elaborate the main objectives of the Indian Constitution and understand each in detail. Key concepts of Indian Constitution are sovereignty. This entitles supreme, controllable and absolute powers to the government of our country. This is the backbone of our Indian Constitution and protects the rights of, to the people. Sovereignty can be of two types, internal sovereignty and external sovereignty. Internal sovereignty entitles the states with the power of, to govern themselves and makes laws in certain cases if required. In contrast, external sovereignty declares government has a supreme authority and entitles it to cede a part of any territory if required. Socialist It is one of the most important parts of the objectives of the Indian Constitution. Socialism ensures equality among people and ensures their welfare. The main purpose of adding socialistic features to the Indian constitution is to ensure fair and equal opportunities for all concerning income and status. Socialism expels capitalism which is considered to be a threat to the economy. The main motto of the objective is to end all forms of discrimination and exploitation of any person based on their religion, caste or creed. Secularism. This objective of the Indian constitution was introduced to ensure the maintenance of peace among different communities. It ensures the development and unity of various communities and religions. Secularism was added as a part of the Indian constitution during the 42nd amendment. Article 25 to 28 of the Indian constitution ensure freedom of religion and prohibit any discrimination on the ground of religion. It is one of the aims and objectives of the salient features of the Indian Constitution and it was added to make clear that religion has no place in the matters of the state. Democratic By including democracy as the objective of the Indian Constitution, the Constitution entitles the citizens of India with the power to govern. India has adopted parliamentary democracy which ensures a responsible and stable government. The ruler of the country is elected by the people and the ruler is later answerable to the people. Democracy ensures stability and entitles the people to change their rules as per their will and practice universal adult franchise. That is, one man, one vote, periodic conduct of elections is practiced so that people are entitled to a right to elect their representatives. Republic the concept was inspired by the constitution of France. It entitles people to the power to elect their representatives. The concept of a republic lays down the foundation to our country's government by ensuring that there will be no hereditary rules, ruler and the elections will be held at regular intervals of time to elect a representative and ruler of the people. Republic Indian is among the most important aims and objectives of the salient features of the Indian Constitution. Justice and Liberty The objectives of the Indian Constitution also include social, economic and political justice and the liberty to follow any religion, any job, any work without the interference of the state. All the citizens of the India are entitled to the basic set of fundamental rights that ensure and protect their interests. Freedom of expression, thought, belief, religion, worship and faith are ensured to every single citizen of the country. Dignity The constitution entitles every person to live their life with dignity. The government ensures quality life to all its citizens under part 4 of the constitution. 
Every citizen has have the right to live a meaningful life and no one in any way can interfere in their way of living. Conclusion The Indian constitution is set up to ensure equal rights to everyone and to entitle people with the power to select their leader, practice their religion and choose the work portfolio that they like. The main objectives of the Indian constitution include sovereignty, socialism, secularism, democracy and republic. Apart from these, justice, liberty and fraternity are also a part of the objectives of the Indian constitution. Thank you one and all.